This is experiment three, electrochemical cells. At the end of this experiment, students should be able to one, arrange aluminium, zinc, magnesium, iron, and copper in an electrochemical series. Two, determine the Faraday's constant by electrolysis of copper sulfate solution. These are the apparatus that you will have to use for this experiment. Tongs, hair dryer, ammeter, voltmeter, stopwatch, transformer, sandpaper, crocodile clips, analytical balance, Salt bridge, beaker, and measuring cylinder. These are the reagents that you will have to use for this experiment. 0.1 molar copper sulfate, zinc sulfate, iron sulfate, magnesium sulfate, aluminium nitrate, and 1.0 molar copper sulfate solution copper zinc aluminium and iron strips you'll also need carbon rod and a magnesium strip now let's have a look at the procedure for part a galvanic cell you will start by cleaning the metal strips with a sandpaper or abrasive cloth. Next, in step 2, you will have to fill a 50 ml beaker with 35 ml of 0.1 molar copper sulfate solution. And the other beaker with 35 ml of 0.1 molar zinc sulfate solution. Step 3. Set up the apparatus as shown in the video. After all the apparatus completely set up, record the cell potential. Repeat steps 1, 2, 3 and 4 by replacing zinc half cell with a magnesium strip in 0.1 molar magnesium sulfate solution. Repeat steps 1, 2, 3 and 4 by replacing zinc half cell with a aluminium strip in 0.1 molar aluminium nitrate solution. Repeat steps 1, 2, 3 and 4 by replacing zinc half cell with an iron strip in 0.1 molar iron sulfate solution. Step number 6. Arrange the metals in ascending order of strength as reducing agents. Finally, step 7 for part A. Verify the above order by calculating the standard reduction potential E0 red of each electrode. Now let's have a look at the procedure for part B. Determination of Faraday's law. First, for part B, you have to clean a copper electrode with a piece of sandpaper or abrasive cloth. Weigh the copper electrodes accurately by using the analytical balance. In step 3, you have to set up the apparatus as shown in the video. 
fill a 50 ml beaker with 35 ml 0.1 molar copper sulfate solution. After that, set the transformer to supply the direct current with a voltage of 3 volts. Complete the circuit by connecting the wires from each electrode to the emitter and transformer. Run the electrolysis for 15 minutes. Record the emitter reading and your observation of each electrode. Next, in step number 6, disconnect the circuits and record the exact time of the electrolysis. Dry the copper strip using a hair dryer. After that, you will have to weigh the copper strip again by using the analytical balance. For step number 9, you will have to calculate the mass of copper deposited. Determine the Faraday's constant. For your lab report, record your observations and readings by using the format provided to you in this video. This video is been made and brought to you by Siri Pinshara Kimia Awak College Matriculasi Lab 1. We hope that you're going to have a blast when you're doing Experiment 3. Enjoy!